How's everybody doing out there? So, I miss having a large displacement saw or something larger, a muscle saw. Uh, so, I'm going to bring one back in. Home Light Super XL 923. Doesn't run currently, but we're going to take care of that. Figure out what's wrong with it. All right. Just do a quick, quick run through. I'm going to start off by getting this muffler off. I'm thinking about porting this saw. What do you think? Should we port it? Uh, I wouldn't be doing a lot of porting. Just a, just a little bit, you know, just a little bit of a boost. She's clean. Good clean cylinder. Let's get the spark plug out switch is on good spark stick that over there that was actually a really good spark so should we compression test see if we got any issues there cylinder looks clean If this comes out good, then we got a just a carb issue probably. Boy, she's got uh, some compression. I think the cylinder's a little dry. She came up a little under, say about a hundred and thirty, thirty-three. I think that's just because the cylinder's a little dry. It's definitely an issue at the starter, too. But that's enough to make it run. Yeah, probably just a little oil would bring that compression up. So, probably got a fuel issue. Carburetor looks good. I don't see any fuel line in there. Let's uh, work at getting this fuel line off. I got half of my tools in my pickup truck right now. Yep. <laughs> that's all that's left there. There's no fuel line inside the tank. The grommet's toast too. All right, let's see if we can do something about this. All right, let's see if I can find a new grommet. I got some grommets. Let me see if I got the right size. In case you guys are ever looking for grommets, the best source I have found is mastercar.com. You get like a hundred grommets. They got different sizes, but I think it was $12 to get all these grommets. Here's the largest one. I think that sucker might be the perfect fit. See, brand new. It was like 12 bucks for, for all those grommets. Imagine it's gonna be one of these two. I think it's gonna be this one. Yeah, that's a nice fit. Perfect fit. Not an easy task to do. 
this situation. Be a lot easier if I had hands that would work. Hey, I think I got it. See, it looks good. Now, I gotta see if I can push that fuel line through. All right, so I put a piece of fly fishing line, tied it onto the fuel line. Make it a little easier. It's raining out there pretty good. We can hear it. Come on. Come on. You're almost there. I'm talking to it. Yep. There we go. that it? Yep, got it. I'm happy about that. Oh, let me think here. How much line do I want? Now, might as well change the rest of this, right? Might as well just go ahead and pull the carb anyway. That way I can check out the diaphragms. All right, so there's our carburetor. Yeah, that dies stiff. Still moves, but it's it's a little on the stiff side. Let's start pulling this apart. Yeah, she wouldn't have ran anyway. She's stiff as a board. This other gasket is stuck on there. I scratched off what I could, and I'm going to take emery cloth to it. Not emery cloth. I'm going to take some uh, Scotch Brite to it. It's proving to be a, a little bit of a challenge to get this gasket material off. You see it in there? Little traces of it everywhere. There. You can kind of see it, right? Trying to rub off this gasket stuff with a screwdriver without mangling up the surface of this aluminum. See, got her cleaned up pretty good. Something's not right here at the throttle. The butterfly doesn't return automatically. See that? The spring sprung. It sprung off, but it's a little off. This is a governed carburetor. Let's take these jets out. See if it's... See what kind of jet we got here. Sometimes these jets got a hole in the high speed spark it. Nope, alrighty. So the meter and lever assembly is all out. Now I want to get this screen out. It's full of crud. Screen's out.
governor circuit on a carburetor. Here's where your metering lever goes, right in this space here. And you see this little tiny hole right down there on the side? So that hole, you get fuel that goes down through here and into the governor circuit right here. Okay. An old gasket. I just punched a hole out of an old gasket. Now we're going to drop that right down in. We're going to drop that right down there at that governor. It's a quarter inch hole, in case you're wondering. Now there's like a little copper washer thingy goes down in there. And now that governor and the speed, that circuit will be blocked. Now I need a kit. I got a kit. There we go. A new uh, needle. All right, so got the metering lever installed. If you're ever doing one of these, on this style carburetor, you adjust towards level with the floor. You just tweak it a little bit and, you know, stick a screwdriver in there and bend it or whatever until she's level with the floor. And I re had to reinstall this little guy here, this little arm for the choke. After I got the uh, governor back in, so now it's just a matter of, so now it's just a matter of installing the rest of this. I did not pull the welch plugs and I don't usually pull welch plugs unless I'm in a situation where I feel like it needs to be pulled. You know what I mean? Unless I run into a problem that tells me I need to pull it. So the big old fat gasket goes first, then diaphragm on top, and you don't forget to uh, hook up that little clip in the diaphragm when you do this, so it won't run very good if you don't do that, if you know what I mean. Now, this particular saw is probably never going to leave my possession. So I'm thinking about porting it for me, but we'll see. Let's see how she runs first. So there's that side installed. Just got to get the other side. You have two choices. Uh, this is for, you know, your ethanol fuels, and this is for your non-ethanol fuels. And I'll be honest, I have trouble getting these to run sometimes. So I always install these. But I keep these just in case, because sometimes, you know. But I usually install this one. Oops, I forgot. I need to install the screen. Put that screen over that hole. All right. One new screen installed up in there. Now let's get this bad boy put back together. Now on this side, the little thin one goes down first. There we go. Now we got our four screws. There we go. One rebuilt carburetor. 
All we gotta do now is get our jets back in. I'm gonna snug it just to the point where it makes contact and give it one and a quarter full turn out. One half, there's a one and there's a quarter. That gasket is shot. The carb kit comes with uh, gaskets. They just look a little different, but they work. So there's an issue with the trigger. The trigger lock doesn't work. It's not catching anything. Doesn't hold the trigger in a lock position at all. Alrighty, so there that is. New fuel line all the way. Carburetor's rebuilt. All right, so now we got an issue with the trigger to deal with. I think the trigger just wore out. That's what it appears like. Let's see if I have another trigger. There we go. So the difference between an XL auto trigger and this trigger to 925 is the hole here in the center is the wrong diameter. So I just drilled it out to make it work. So it works now. Works perfectly. I was able to get it adjusted up just, just right on the money. At least, you know, at least that I can tell from here. The compression release is busted. I'll have to locate a new one of those. Or make one. One or the other. It's not a big deal though. I had the 925 and it didn't have a compression release. So it's not the end of the world. I, I know what to expect. So what do you think? Should we give it a try? See if it'll pop. There's a little bit of fuel in the tank. I can see fuel spitting out the carb.
I see. The on off switch is kind of weak. And you just barely touch it and it switches off. That was probably my problem right there. Let's give it another try. I wasn't actually expecting it to start. Not fully. I was hoping for a putt. I wasn't expecting it to start all the way up. But oh well. <laughs> we'll smell that for a little while. <laughs> Alrighty. One step closer. So there we go. We're one step closer to our run and solve. I just gotta throw a handlebar and a bar on it and we're good to go. Uh, we'll give it a quick test run because I don't know if it's gonna have air leaks or not. I, I didn't go through any of that. It could need crankshaft seals and everything. So, you know, we'll see how it runs first. And uh, then we'll go from there. At least we'll have a base run of what it's, how it runs before. And then we'll have an idea of how it runs after, you know. So, till the next time. Later.